Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Put some sound on, maybe. I think sound is all there. Alright, we're gonna drive down to the station and we'll go on duty from there. How is everyone tonight? How are you, Dan? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Tom got a new car. Um, I've still got the Lexus, but I'm I'm not. Um, sound is perfect. Okay. The microphone will probably play up. I'm pretty over that at the moment. But um, Tom got a new car. I'm not going to drive the Lexus as much. I'm going to start driving this brand new Dodge Charger as Tom's personal vehicle. She's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. It's got a lot of modifications you can do to it, and it's got a pretty good interior too. But um, yeah, we're gonna go and get on duty. Oh yeah, and it's got daytime runners you can these bottom ones can you can have them differently as well you can have them a little bit um, more curved and stuff or you can have none of them it's pretty it's a pretty cool modification that you can do to the car on duty for a little bit something flew out of a guy's truck and hit my windshield and we're pulled over at you want to check the rest uh, we're pulled over at 959, is that Route 68? Oh, That's what? 13. The 13. That must be down near the prison, is it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we can head back that way. You can yeah. flick around if you want. I'll try my best. Oh god, this is going to be literally suicide. Legitimately, though. I'm going to go down to the next one, I think. Oh. oh god, get out of there, get out of there. <laughs> That's why I wasn't putting my lights on. Yeah, but they, they would have rear-ended us and everything anyway. Oh my god, there. Alright, it's got rear-ended, yep. Yeah. How much damage does that do? Not. Oh god, a little bit. God, they're just losing their brains. Oh, oh god. god. Oh god. Jesus. What the fuck happened just then? It just popped on out of nowhere. I'm not. I'm definitely not role playing that. For me, it was there the whole time, but you still ran into it, and I was like, uh, do you not see that? No. It was there, and it was like out of the way, and then it just popped on directly in front of me and stopped. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these AI, but they're fucking crazy. They seem worse, to be honest. Like, we were chasing an AI earlier. And Zach cleared an intersection, slowed down, and still got T-boned massively and rolled his car. Yeah. Oh, here they are. They're on the exit to 68. I get her. There is me. Oh, it's going all over the fucking road. Yeah, they're fucking idiots. A little bit of, uh... Lincoln 320, I'll be out on a traffic protection. Uh, looks like a TC possibly northbound 13 near the route 68 exit nearest postal 959. It's gonna be two looking F-150s, one silver in colour, one black. Looking forward to when I'm out with uh, 320. Hi ma'am, Officer Hart of the LSPD, how are you? Ma'am, can you hear me? Uh, yes, officer. Uh, are you okay, ma'am? She's not very talkative, this lady. Ma'am, you okay? You only just yeah. started talking for me. 
Okay, uh, what happened here? So, do you want to come over here as well? What, what exactly is going on here? Has, there, has everyone lost their voice boxes? Is... Uh, I can hear you, but... Are they talking? Not for me. Uh, yeah, so I was driving along the road and I heard a so bang, long. bang. Uh, I looked in my rear view mirror and it looks like uh, a piece of timber fell out of the back of my truck and hit this truck that was uh, driving behind me. Right, so you have the bit of timber now. Yeah, where is that bit of timber? Uh, I didn't actually see where it went. It like, be sure. Is it back? It is it back off. down the road that way a bit? Yeah, yeah, it was. No, you know, it must have gone off the side of the road. I didn't. I didn't see it. It's probably off the side. Yeah, of the I didn't side see it either. So, ma'am, you're the you're the driver of the uh, black truck, I'm assuming, and so you drive the red one. What what takes them so long to respond? I don't know. Yes, sir. That's the black one's mine. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Can I have your driver's license, ma'am? And your have you got any insurance on the truck as well? Because I'm gonna need to see that as well. Just a question. Do you guys know each know each other by chance? Uh, no, I've never seen her before. Okay, I'm just curious. Two of the same same trucks. That's all. They're quite older model yeah, ones. Yeah, we thought it was a bit of a coincidence. Yeah, it seems like quite a good one. Ah, uh, ma'am. Yeah. Do you have your? Do you just want to step over this way, sir? Ma'am, do you have your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you? Uh. Yeah, it's in the truck. Alright, do you want to go ahead and grab that? you got no weapons or anything that we need to know about, have you? Uh, uh, no, not on me. No okay. one in the truck. There's none in the truck? No, but nothing. Okay, yeah, just grab me your license, registration, well, and proof of insurance, well, and we'll go there, from there. There might, there might be a knife somewhere in there, but there's no gun. Okay, as long as you don't pull it out and do something stupid, we won't have any issues. Just grab me your license and all that, and we'll get this over and done with. As quick as we can. Yeah, okay. Hmm, nothing really there. Oh, jeez, that was up. Uh, here we go. All right. The name is Ali Smith. Ali Smith, okay. Um, Ali, if you just want to go ahead and just lean up against the um, truck, just on this side in case you get hit or something, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Uh, okay. Edward Corbeck, Robert Corbeck, 4486. Got the um the the, the red truck on by the MDT there, as you can see, he's completely clean and clear. It's uh, Peter Montgomery. Okay, no Peter. License, no other. Okay, yeah, I've got she she's um giving me her license and all that. She's an Ali Smith. I'll just go ahead and run her as well. Perfect. Seems like more of a thing that insurance can take care of than us. Spelt that way, okay. Yeah, her license is valid. I'll just go ahead and run the plate of that um that F one fifty, and I'll just make sure that's valid and all that as well. Perfect. Do you want me to grab the one of the uh, the red truck? Yeah. Um, I had a bit of a look in there in the back of her truck as well, and got the body cam, you know, picking up a bit of stuff just in case we need it, um, for insurance purpose and all that. There's a few loose items in there, but um, we might discuss that with them once we go back up there. Ah, uh, good, yeah, sounds good. I'll check the plate. 
Edward Corbeck Robert. Insurance is valid. Color is red. That's an issue because it's definitely not red. 3247-1028. Go ahead. Lima Victor Kilo Whiskey 8312. Lima Victor Kilo Whiskey 8312. Yeah, be advised, there's no return on that 1028. 10 four. Confirm that it was Lincoln, Victor, King. Temple, Lincoln, Victor, King. With Copy, the there's no return at all for that 1028. Temple. Guys, I'm just doing first person because the whole body cam thing's up and I just think it looks a lot more, a lot better to be honest. Looks more legit. Uh, Ali, is there any reason why I've just ran the plate on the um, the F-150 there? It comes back to a red a red one. Yours is clearly black. Is that a... Did you just recently get it painted or something? What's up with that? Uh, what was that, officer? So, I ran the plate on your F-150. It comes back to a red F-150. Did you recently get it painted black and it just hasn't been updated? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it was recently painted. I painted it, like, uh, maybe a day ago. Okay, yeah, I won't give you a hard time about that. Just make sure you just get that fixed, though, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Now, whereabouts are you taking all this stuff that's in the back of your arm, in, in the back of the bed here? Where's that all going? Oh, it's it's mine. I uh, currently um, am out of a house. Eh, just just yeah, packing yeah. some belonging belongings. All right, Ali, just hang out here for one second. Um, I'll go over there and chat with them really quick. Um, is there any major damage to your windscreen? Uh, no, I don't think anything's wrong. I just the windshield's broken. Okay, you just got a you just got a smashed in window. Okay, um, just hang out and back with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Play is doing like a sexy walk. Who is this? Yours. It's because I'm in walk. first person because I'm using right. that body cam thing. Okay. I think. Uh, okay. You said his name was Peter. Uh, yeah. That is correct, yeah. Um, he's got paperwork here, the, there you go, Tom, from the uh, DMV. It all checks out. The, the uh, He only got it about four hours ago. Richard's just taking a while. Our computers are probably slow. Okay. Um, so, Miss Smith over here, she has a broken in windscreen um, from the plank of wood that did come flying out of the back of this um, F-150, unfortunately. Um, so... I, I don't think she wants to press charges. I haven't asked her anything about this, about the windscreen or anything. But um, it sounds to me more like a, you know, something you guys can work out personally on a level with your insurance companies. Um, so, have you got your insurance information on you as well, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, I gave the insurance details to the other officer. All right. It's on your uh, passenger seat, Tom. All right. Um, I might go and grab that insurance information. I've got Miss Smith's as well. I might give yours back to you, sir, and then I'll give hers back to her. And um, you guys, you guys have been pretty calm and collect with each other. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. So if I give you guys back your regos and your insurances and all that, I think it's used to can mutually um, work out, you know, the insurance stuff together. Uh, we can hang out here just for traffic and just make sure you two get it done and then we can all clear off, I think. Alright, buddy. I'll, um, I'll call my insurance provider. Yeah, I'll head over, Zach. Yeah. Have a look in the back of the bed. There's not a single thing holding anything down. Oh, okay. Hang on.
Yeah, I'm kind of worried about these other couple of planks that... And there's that... Is that off a bonnet or something? Like, on the bumper there? Like, a bit of a bumper? Yeah, it looks like a bumper door and a couple of planks of wood. Yeah, the door looks like it's sitting so there okay. That you have to, uh... That you have to tie down anything that's in the, the uh, tray of your truck? The bed of your truck? No, just have to have any loose items, oh. even if it's a small little item, anything. Well, I mean, yeah, I... I mean, I don't know, I'm not uh, sure if I like first person the whole time like that, it's weird. Just, you know, I picked it all up and found I didn't have a rope, so, you know. Okay, so... It's kind of just... Did, were, were you aware that it, it's, it's a legal requirement to tie down your load? Um... To be honest, I never really gave it any thought, no. Didn't give it any thought, he was like, fuck I just it. just assumed it would be like a She'll be right. courtesy type thing. Let's get a screenshot of that, that looks pretty nice. Alright. He basically said he had no idea he was meant to tie anything down doesn't have any rope to tie anything down. I think it's unsafe to allow him to continue tra traveling with that, with that not secured in the rear. Whereabouts is he heading to? What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm not too sure, I didn't check. Yeah, we might find out where they're heading to because unfortunately she doesn't have a windscreen either and I'm just concerned about all the glass that's all loose on the um, hood of the bonnet and like inside the cab, like a safety kind of issue for her as well. Um, yeah, because it's like it's it's easy to give him a slap, slap on the wrist, but it's it's pretty negligent behaviour, I, I think, from from uh, Peter here in red truck. Yeah, I agree. Like just putting stuff in there and hoping that it'll stay. Driving on a highway going seventy. Yeah, no, I agree. It's pretty, um, you know, not kind of acceptable, especially on a highway, busy road like this. Yeah, do you think it comes under? Does it come under careless? Uh, I don't believe it's careless. I'm pretty sure there should be something in there about insecure load or uh, it's some okay, yeah. some sort of vehicle I'll defect have even. A look at the law book. Yeah, you have to have a look. I'm just gonna go and grab uh, their I'll insurance information the so they can start working things out together. I get it. Bit of a serious accident here. All right, Ali, here's your insurance info. Um, I'm going to give you yours back. I'm going to give Mr. Montgom Montgomery's back as well, and you two should be able to mutually um, come to you know, the resolution of giving each other your um, information and then we can go from there, okay? Ah, um, yeah, okay. Okay. Mr. Montgomery, here's your insurance and all that back. I just gave uh, Miss Smith hers. If you want to go over there and just start figuring out all your details together, we'll clean up the rest of the scene and um, we'll let you know what's going on once you guys have completed that, okay? Yeah, okay, no worries. Alright, here's yours back, you go and just sort that out. Thank you. So you're getting, you're giving him a ticket, aren't you? I think so, yeah, like, because it's, like, it's pretty negligent what he did. No, it is, I agree. Um, all I can find is, uh... Operation of unsafe motor vehicle, but it's not really. It wasn't really unsafe, I guess. What do you think? No, it's more. It's. It's not on here. I know that it's like insecure low, but it's not on. Here. It's not in the cheat cheat sheet, is it? No, not that I can see. Yeah, so that's gonna have to be added to the cheat sheet. Yeah, I thought I, I thought we had it, but you might have to look up the bigger book. Yeah. So, I'll have a quick look. I don't have that one open, so I have to grab it myself. It's all good. I can um, 
I got it right now already. No, I don't even have the cheat sheet open though. Uh, Driver license expired, unauthorized possession, blah, 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 blah. Careless driving, aggressive, careless driving. Farm equipment violation, no. I saw that, I was like, no, oh, probably not. Yeah, unfortunately she can't drive off with the windscreen issue because that's a ticketable offence as well, driving around with an obstructed or destroyed windshield. Yeah, so I think we could maybe give them... Um, I'm going to ask where they're going like to because I might... Yeah. If she's only got to go up the road, I can kind of let that slide. Passing violation, passing on the right. Okay, three one six five twenty loads on Vic. Yeah, okay, so that's what you need then. Vic may not be driven on a moving on a highway unless the vehicle is so constructed or loaded to prevent of its load dropping, shifting, leaking, blowing, or otherwise escaping. Blah blah blah, street of ever have. Yeah. Person who oh. willfully violates the provisions of this section which offence results in serious bodily injury or death of an individual. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty cool with each other. Where did he just go? Uh, I'm not in. I'm, uh, oh, he's leaning on the back of his truck, it's okay. Except as provided in per a violation of this set is a non-criminal infraction, punishable, punishable as a non-moving violation. So I think that's a thousand dollar fine. Okay. That's what non-moving, isn't it? Aren't they? What was that? A non-moving was a thousand dollars. Hang on, what are you doing? A non-moving violation. For what? That's what it's punishable as, under the law. Oh, okay. Loads on vehicles. Yeah. Punishable as a non-moving violation. Yeah. Which I think is a thousand dollars now. You want it? We wanted action, and we got some. Dan, yeah. Well, I think it's five hundred dollars <laughs> for non-moving violation. After nearly two hours, yes, we finally got something. Yeah, I think it's only five hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, you love the lights? Yeah, I love the lights on this thing as well. Probably the front lighting is my favourite. Just the flick here. Where are we? That's right. Yeah, we're northbound 13. I'll go and see if they've completed their insurance. We're near Route 68, aren't we? Yeah, nearest cross would be Route 68, Sonora Way. It'd actually be Snore away, which would be the nearest cross. What's his, um, can you read out his plate for me? Hey guys, yeah. have you guys sorted out your insurance? Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, it's all taken care of. Alright, just give me one sec. 32487, it's gonna be Lincoln, Victor, King, William, 8312. Lincoln, Victor, King, William. Eight three one two. Simple. Sorry about that, guys. Did I just say Zach on the radio? No. Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, I think I just said Zach on the radio. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. So, um, whereabouts are you heading to, Miss Smith? Um, I'm, I was going to head into Sandy, see if there's any uh, properties for sale for cheap. If not, I'm heading up to you know. Hey, Mr. McCormick, right. can you just step over here for me? Um, unfortunately, Miss Smith, you, are, you do have a... Oh, my goodness. I, I, 
I don't know what that was. I right, have a. Right. Um. Unfortunately, you have a broken windscreen, which means you can't actually drive on the road safely, and I'm kind of worried with all the glass um, shards and all that, if they kind of blow back into your face or something like that, so um, my, I'm going to get it towed. Um, we're going to get it towed to wherever you want it to be towed, okay? Uh, how is the auto shop just up by the um, uh, airfield? Um, yeah, we can get a tow truck to tow it up to the, um, up to the shop there, up near the airfield. Okay. Well, if it's going to be nice, it's close and get it fixed. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's more a safety hazard to you and the other motorists on the road. If all the glass shards start going on the road as well, could cause tyres to puncture and stuff like that. Hey, yeah, I, I understand. Um... So, I can give you a lift um, wherever you need to go tonight, so if you want to grab your backpack um, or whatever you need for, just for tonight, I can take you where you need to go, okay? In terms, like I can take you to Sandy, about as far as Sandy or Route 68. Okay. Um, I do need to just give you a light frisk though, just in case you do have a weapon though, okay? Uh, that was an explosion, Dan. Yeah, that's all good. Alright, uh, now I do have a body cam on me, so it will be recorded, okay? But if you want to just face the other way, I'll just give you a light frisk, and if you're all clear, you're free to go and put your backpack in, you know, in my car, okay? Okay. Alright, so just go ahead and face the other way for me, please, Ali. I don't believe Frisk is working. Alright, Miss Smith, you're free to go. Just go and grab your backpack or whatever, you know, whatever personal belongings you absolutely need tonight and just sit them on the back seat of my truck, okay? Um, I'm good. I don't need to grab anything. Alright. Um, um, yep. Just, just quickly. Um, he's doesn't have any rope. I'm not allowing him to drive the vehicle. He did mention um, leaving the, let's just unloading it on the side of the road here, going home, getting rope, and coming back. Are you happy with that? <laughs> he wants to. He wants to pollute the side of the road. No, I'm not exactly happy about that. <laughs> okay, no. we'll uh, we'll have to get a tow truck out then. Uh, he he has absolutely nothing. He can tie some of that down with. Yeah, no, I said, uh, I asked him if he said had any rope, but he didn't. Hang on, just just, um, just wait there for a second. I might have something in my toolbox. Okay. I mean, if neither of you officers have anything, I... We might have something in the trunk of the F-150. You just never know. Jeez, that was a resource warning. I don't like how he's standing up like there's nothing there. That's interesting. Oh, wrong thing. I've got two one meter bits of bungee cord here. That should be enough to. Where's he heading to? Zach, whereabouts is he heading to? Yeah, but actually tie anything down with those? Yeah, whereabouts is he heading to, though? Uh, he just lives in Grapeseed. It's not exactly the best rope, it will snap, but if he drives at about 
pretty slowly, he should be okay. Yeah, I'll just advise him to get off the... It's uh, better the than towing here. the truck, anyway. Definitely. Mr. Montgomery. Yep. Okay, I have... To, I don't know if you know what bungee cord is, sir, but I have two pieces of bungee cord. It is quite, um, stretchable. So, there should be more than enough here to tie down stuff. However, it's not exactly... It's strong, but it's not super strong. So, if you're driving around at 70 miles per hour on the highway, it may break. So, what I'm going to let you do is, I'm going to let you borrow... Actually, I'll let you keep this rope, because it's only left around in my, the back of my truck. But, you need to tie your stuff down, and then just stick to the back roads to get home, okay? So, get on here on the exit and go into Sandy via those roads, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, that's pretty much where I was heading anyway. I was going to go up to Grape Seed through Sandy. Alright, like I said to you, it's not the strongest stuff in the world. You just need to take care with it, okay? But it's better than towing the, you know, the F-150 home tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that. Um, thanks for that. No worries. Sorry, sir. Have you got all your details back? Your license, registration, insurance papers back, sir? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, perfect. Are you all done, Tom? Yeah, I got nothing else for Mr. Montgomery as long as you're all, all good with this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so just as long as you have all that, that uh, tied down thing, stick to the back roads, you're right to go, alright? Alright, thanks for that. I'll, uh, I'll start tying it down now. That's right, and just in future, just remember that you, you've got to secure your load, even if it's even if it's one tie or if it's anything that's in the back of your truck, even if it's a big heavy toolbox box, it has to be tied down, all right? You just have to yep, think about no what if it comes out of the back of your truck, what's it, what it's going to do. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. Lincoln 320, can I get a tow truck to my location? All right, Ali. Lincoln 320, if, County Tower, ATA, 5 mics. If you're absolutely sure you don't need anything, then just go ahead and just sit in the front seat of my truck, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, you sure you don't need anything from it? You don't need your purse or money or anything like that? Uh, no, I don't really carry a purse. I got a wallet in my pocket. Alright then. Should be just a few minutes, we've got to wait for a tow truck. Yep. I'm just going to drop her off in Sandy, and then I'll head back down to LS as well. Okay, yeah, so I'll um, wait until Mr. Montgomery pulls off, and then I'll pull off. Alright, because he might be a little bit tying that down. Do you want to just wait for the tow truck for the, the other pickup here? Yeah, sure thing, yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. That's fine. Alright, thanks. Just be safe. Yeah, you too. Alrighty. Uh, Miss Smith, whereabouts did you want to go exactly? Uh, I head up to the just the, like the gas station by the, the um, airfield is fine. All right. You okay, Zach? Yeah. So, did, have you written up the uh, the tow sheet for the vehicle, or uh, do you want me to do that? Uh, stand by. Uh, I've got it half written. I'll just finish the last little bit. Okay. All right, here it is, Zach. Wait, thank you. All right, no worries. Days later. 